Yo guys, it's Arcade and today I'm gonna show you how to make a tech house banger. It's gonna be sort of like Losing It by Fisher. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to make the drums, the bass, the melody. But apart from that, I'm also gonna show you how to make a cool, deep vocal loop phrase that you can use in the background of your song. So no matter what mic you have or what voice you have, we're gonna make it work. Now let's get started. And also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. More on that later. Okay, so first of all, let's set the BPM to 124 and enable the swing. I always mention this, but if you're working on a house track, you want the swing swing to be enabled, it makes everything way more groovy. Now let's get started with the drums. So I'm starting with a simple kick and a snare. All of these samples are from my sample pack staple sounds. So we have this kick and this short snare, very tech housey. So we're gonna add that to the playlist. And then I'm also gonna add another clap, which sounds like this. Again, I shorten it by moving the out note. So I want really short and snappy samples here. So then we have this. And to make this more interesting, let's add some more kicks. So all you have to do to make a variation is go to your pattern in the playlist and click on this button here and click on make unique. Then you have a copy of the same pattern, but you can make changes to it and it's only gonna make them to this one. So I'm gonna add a kick right here. And also, if you click on this and go here to graph editor, you can lower the velocity of this filler kick. We can do another variation here, where I put two kicks in the beginning. And then we have the same rhythm again. So it sounds like this. First we have the normal rhythm, then we have this kick, and then we have this double kick. So all together it sounds like this. So it adds a bit more groove to the whole drum loop, which is nice. The next sound I'm adding is some open hi-hats. I'm using this hi-hat. Once again from Staple Sounds, which Staple Sounds is my sample pack platform, but you only pay once, so there is no monthly payments. And once you buy it, you get access forever. And we'll be adding more sounds every month, so check it out, link is below. New drop of sounds is coming soon. So I'm using this open hi-hat, really straightforward, but I always add some effects to it. So one of the things I always mention is to enable the envelope and lower everything except the sustain, which is all the way up and a little bit of the release as well. Then you can make longer and shorter notes. So if you press it for a little bit, it's going to be a short note, but if you hold it, it's going to play out. So that's one of the things I did here, but I'm also going to show you a new technique for this open hi-hat that I used here. So as you can see, I have this double hi-hat over here. So usually you have this offbeat open hi-hat in a house song pretty straightforward but this time I added this note in here as well and I lowered the velocity of it a lot so it sounds like this and if you spot it I also changed the panning so if you go to control note pan you can change the panning of each note so this way we have more of a stereo feel in the song it's always good to switch it up and add some panning to some sounds so not all of your sounds are mono this will add some more stereo feel so a really simple trick but it works really well and makes this hi-hat way more groovy so with the drums it sounds like this Pretty cool. A few more sounds that I added include this shaker. But just like at the beginning here. Just for some variation. And a really important sound over here, which is this reverse ride. Which sounds pretty unimportant, but it's actually a really cool effect that adds a lot to the whole song. So it sounds like this. So it's just a reverse ride. So if you have your ride sample like this you just click reverse and i did this twice in a row and i also automated the panning right here right click it create automation clip so it goes from left to right and the last thing that i added to the drum loop is some percussion so i went with a close hi-hat another one and some percussion hits and it sounds like this and in the whole drum loop it sounds like this And that is our drum loop. It's really important to get this right. And I think this one goes hard. So now let's move on to the bass. For the bass, I'm using this sound from Silent. It's bass, which is also from my sample pack. And you can get a lot more sounds in Silent 1. But this bass was really cool, sort of analog sounding. 
So here is how I made the bass. So here's the melody for the bass. And I went with something pretty simple and repetitive, but that's really good in Tech House because the whole song just keeps repeating itself. So you definitely want something catchy, but not too complicated. Otherwise people won't remember it. So here is my bass line. And it pretty much doesn't change throughout the whole song. Maybe a little bit, but not much. So that is the melody switching in between octaves. We have D4 here, then D5, and then again here, F5, F4, F5. So just sort of doing this bouncy rhythm. For the effects, I have quite a bit of effects on this. Without the effects, it sounds like this. Still pretty nice, but I wanted it to be more gritty. So I added some sound goodies here, which is just some compression. Then Maximus. I just went through some presets. I'm not sure which one I used. It doesn't show, but yeah, I just went through some presets until I heard something that I like. And this is more bassy. Then we have Kickstart plugin to sidechain this, of course. Then transient processor, I increase the attack, which means the beginning of the hit of the sound will be a bit more obvious. Then I have some EQ just to boost the high frequencies. And then I have more EQ to lower the low frequencies. I don't know why I use two EQs, honestly, but I sometimes I just do it. Then the bass with the drums sounds like this. Okay, so this is great, but if you actually want to learn more about music production and music theory, then check out our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform where you can, you guessed it, learn new skills, including music production. There is tons of classes on music production that teach you everything in detail. Whether you want to grow your streams on Spotify, learn how to play the piano, or learn more about FL Studio, you can find all of that and more on Skillshare. You can also search for a specific thing, like FL Studio, and here you'll have tons of classes on FL Studio that teach you a lot more than YouTube videos. Right now, I would recommend this class by Chester Sky, Music Producer Masterclass, Make Electronic Music with FL Studio. This is a great class for anyone who wants to learn music production in FL Studio, especially if you are making electronic music. There is 45 lessons and over 4 hours of content, so you can learn pretty much everything you need from start to finish. But the best thing is that the first thousand people who click the link in the description below Below, you'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That means you get access to this class and all the other classes on Skillshare for one free month. So check it out, link is below and now let's get back to the video. And we are back. Okay, one more thing I added to sort of complement the baseline is this chord synth. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's this one from Nexus. Really housey and I just sort of added the same melody. With this exception, where I go one note after another, you can do that by clicking on the note, holding the Alt key, and then just, when you hold the Alt key, it won't snap to the grid. So you can do sort of multiple notes one after another. If you wanna do more, just select it and move this to make it even faster. So this is my melody. Really simple, same as the bass, pretty much. And I also automated the cutoff, so it goes from low to high. It's supposed to be sort of in the background. So with the bass, it sounds like this. Let me just put it higher. Let me just copy this as well. And once again, to make this arrangement more interesting, I turn off the, the nodes here, but I keep them over here. But here we have this right. So it's like a fill. Okay, so for now we have the drums, the bass, and some complementary instruments. Next, I'm gonna show you the effects, the melodies, and the vocal loop. Now let me show you the effects. I kept it pretty simple in this one, so there is not much to show. We just have this down sweep, which is also sidechained. So every time the kick hits, the volume of the sweep is lowered, or you can do that automatically with this kickstart plugin. And then we just have an up sweep. And that's pretty much it for the effects. One could say there is more, but I'm gonna show you those later because there are sort of a different type of effects. Okay, so next thing I wanna show you is the melody. If we can call this a melody, but it's a simple lead that just repeats in this rhythm. So here's how it sounds. And I'm using this plug from my sample pack. 
and I set the band range to 12 and the pitch range to 12 as well in here and then I automated the pitch so all you have to do is right click on the pitch create automation clip I actually recommend putting this on like three or five but I did 12 so I had to adjust the automation a lot more but if you do three or five it's gonna be way easier you can just go all the way up with the automation and it's not gonna be like a crazy pitch but since I put 12 I had to fine-tune the automation a lot more but basically what I did is go up and then go down and that's pretty much it again pretty repetitive but it just works in this style of music so pretty simple but it's actually a really cool melody if you play it with the rest of the sounds Also automated the cutoff and the decay in silent one this decay this cutoff so you can automate all of that to open it up a bit more at the end also worth noting I automated the cutoff of the bass as well so it goes from low to more open and it just keeps repeating again back to low to open also at the end here once again I have my rides but this time they follow they follow the plug melody just a little detail to make it more interesting okay now let me show you the part a lot of you might be excited about which is the vocal loop or the vocal phrase and it sounds like this but of course i'm gonna show you the dry vocal as well as i do in my videos because it's kind of hilarious so here's the vocal with the effects Of course, I recorded it with my speakers on so you can hear some of the music, but it's okay because in the whole song it sort of gets lost. So yeah, to get this effect, I of course recorded this. You can do whatever phrase you want, but here is how it sounds with no effects. So there is quite a lot of them there. So with no effects, it's sort of funny. I don't know. You be the judge. Gonna fuck the beat. Gonna fuck the beat. Yeah, it doesn't sound as cool as with the effects. Let's add the effects. So I have this frequency shifter, which does pretty much nothing. I don't know why I put it there. But then we have this pitch shifter, which is important. I set it to music and lower this right here. So it's going to be pitched down and it sounds like this then. Fuck the beat. Gonna fuck the so already way cooler then we have sound goodizer just to open it up a bit more compress it make the highs a bit more obvious Gonna fuck the beat. then we have vocodex and i use the backing voices preset but i lower the wetness a lot Gonna fuck the beat. then we have a bit of reverb Gonna fuck the beat. and as you can hear right now it's really bassy so i add eq and remove all of the bass Gonna fuck the and then we have stereo shaper so instead if the vocal would be in mono in the middle of the mix it's stereo so it's more to the size of the mix so if you have too many things in mono, you're gonna sort of make your mix muddy. So make sure to use some sounds that are in stereo. That way they have more space to exist in the whole mix. So this is how it sounds with all of the effects. Way better, you can do this yourself. So try it out. It's a really simple vocal, but adds a lot to the whole song. So what more do we need? Well, some cool effects or ear candy as people call it, which in my case includes some chorus sounds. I went to contact and added this chorus sample library. But you can use any chord and just added a few chords here and there. So just like a chord hit. So if you notice, the bass ends like this. And then we have this choir hit. So the bass ends on D, then the chord will also be D. It's just a simple chord. But it sounds really cool in the whole song, just like this. And in the second repetition, I sort of made this little choir melody. And then it gets more intense as I put more chords in there. So that's another unique twist in this Tech House song.
So sounds great, but how to make this even more intense? Well, add the classic brass sound, very similar to losing it. So it's just a big brass hit. We have this brass library. And I also sidechain the brass, put reverb on it and some distortion to make it even harder and lower the low frequencies because they were sort of overlapping with the bass. So I didn't want that. And then we have this. And yeah, once we have the brass sound, that is pretty much all of the sounds that I used in this track. So let me just show you the whole arrangement, because that's pretty important as well. You definitely don't want to put all of the sounds that I talked about at the same time. You know, you want to play a few of them at one point and then a few of them at another. So here is how I did it. I have the drums and the bass at the beginning. Then we add the open hi-hats. This melody. Then we add the plucky melody and the percussion. And once again, every four bars, I add this fill. Just to make it more interesting, if you don't add it, everything will be just repeating constantly, which is not really cool. You want to have this break in there from time to time to sort of reset. So then I add the vocal and some of the choir, but I turn off the plucky melody and the percussion. Then I added the choir melody. But did not add the plucky melody because it would be just too much. But from time to time I enable it, like right here. To make like a little effect from it. Then I add the brass, but turn off the choir, because you just don't want too many sounds at the same time. And then at the end, I only have the simple drums with the bass and the choir. And so yeah, that's pretty much concludes the whole track. If you want to get the samples and presets from this track, check out Staple Sounds, link is below in the description. And now let's have a listen to the finished result. guys that is pretty much it for this track i hope you enjoyed make sure to check out skillshare link is in the description below and also check out my sample packs they are below as well other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye